They don't. Oh no, really? Yeah. I can feel myself getting sort of overwhelmed, like it's starting to build. People do different ways. Oh, yes. Morning. Oh, look at that. I look angelic. I've been helping Mark this last week uh, fill up trucks for corn, and uh, this was the first day he was able to do it by himself, which is really good because I am away with Jess on Wednesday for another uh, consult with the surgeon. So he is on his own. I think he's got a few trucks to load that day, so I was concerned, but he's able to do it. I've made a little bit of a decision this morning. I'm gonna clean out that other side of the barn across the road, the lamb barn. I wanted to wait till it froze so we didn't have to double handle manure. We're gonna have to double handle it and stockpile here for now um, because the field is too wet. As you can see, everything's melted already this morning. The days have been too warm and it's just, it's not freezing solid uh, to get into our field where we've been stockpiling and we just don't wanna make a mess of the uh, of the laneway and the road going in and out just makes for a muddy gross mess for cars going by so we're going to stockpile i have room i'm going to push this pile up a bit right now uh, and then we probably only have maybe a uh, maybe two dump trailers maybe one and a half i think we only had one and a half uh, we almost had two what two full ones on the last barn so this is just one because mark was able to dump my second one uh, so I, I didn't have to double handle it but we're gonna have to double handle this if I wait for it to freeze we're supposed to also get snow and ice so it just makes for treacherous uh, maneuvering of the tractor and the dump wagon and I don't want any jackknife wagons and all the things so we're just gonna do the safe route and it's gonna take more time and it's gonna take a little bit more effort but we don't want to push our luck right now and we'll just do this
clean this barn out, shall we? That is a really good job to get off the mental to-do list. However, it did stand in the way of getting in an, another job that I have to get done. It's gonna have to wait till tomorrow for help because my ewe lambs, one, two, three, four, five, five, five have jumped. Nope, six. When I was doing the corn this morning, I'm like, why is there ewes with full fleece in the ewes that I sheared pen? What is up with that? They jumped. Stop! Please! <laughs> you, you jumped! Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. They usually stand together, so that's probably all of them. Not cool. So I think what we'll do is tomorrow morning, uh, first thing before Carissa feeds, I'll run this whole group through, pull out those ewe lambs, leave them kind of in the handling area and then bring, bring the rest of the family up and then we'll do their uh, vaccination with their chlamydia, the first of two doses. They probably should have had their first one last week, but they weren't over here yet. <laughs> and then I got to figure out a better gate. Oh, my water gates. I got to pick up my water gates. So that might help. Cinnamon, how are we? We are obsessed with Kinsey. Obsessed. Hello, I want to say hello. Okay. Can I hang out with her? Hello, Cinnamon. How's that with Cinnamon? <laughs> how is my girl? Oh, hello. You keep making out. Hello. Hello. Hello.
morning. Chris has been hard at it. She got my ewe lamb sorted for me, so we just have to put them with them. And we're gonna, I think this gate is just buried in manure, so we're gonna just lift it and hopefully it'll sit on top of the pack and then they won't clear it. And if that doesn't work, I'll add some gates and make the gate higher. My water gates are done today though, so maybe. Um, I think I, I've measured them the same though, so they're probably the same height, but. Forecasters are saying it's gonna be really bad and into like the weekend and then others yeah, are where like where is it coming from or whatever? I don't know. Mom told me. I I'm not sure it. what it is. Make her a little higher. I'm so glad I almost put him in that pen beside the Rams. Could you imagine? My video yesterday when we were weaning lambs, you were going off about your cookies. So I added it a lot because there was a lot of edited words. And everyone's like, what was she talking about with the cookies? And then people thought you were talking about girl guy cookies. I'm like, no. <laughs> she was trying to make cookies, but she didn't have the stuff. <laughs> you didn't like the Pinterest recipe. No. And you couldn't find your grandma's recipe. Yeah. Well, Can finally you sent me this it? one. It's today. And then those so are you made them? Yeah, perfect cookies. I don't know what it is. You gotta bring me a cookie. I gotta, I gotta <laughs> taste test. My friend Kira, her mom, that I went to university with, her mom, was a nurse, is a nurse, it was a nurse, whatever. <laughs> she had the best chocolate chip cookies. Yep. <laughs> and but she's like, but she says the trick is butter. And I'm like, well, trick is always butter. Yeah. But yeah, and they, like I said, that day, they're like, they get really skinny and then the chocolate chips yeah. pop up. Oh, I love those. Yeah. Actually, my sister makes a mean chocolate chip cookie. Her mother-in-law, Marion, is, she's a baker. <laughs> <laughs> So good. I love going there and she's made stuff with them. Oh, yeah. like, oh. <laughs> Carl gets it from her so he can make a mean pie. And Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's. My sisters are a lot like me. We just. We're okay with not being the cooks. I don't mind baking. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not a good cook. I don't mind. Like yeah. Uh, oh, so I went to town last night to get groceries. Family day. Yeah, totally. <laughs> well, Food land was open. Yeah, I but, to, but close at five. Um, it was five thirty. I'm like, Frank, so long, all winter. Wow. <laughs> 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 yeah. All right, we got the little crazy girls contained. Uh, we are, this is the first of two chlamydia vaccinations. All right, sub Q, two mils, and this is the vaccine. I get asked a lot of what I use for this. This is the vaccine we use. Chris is gonna scan, and I'm going to inject and just get this done as quick as we can. Business. Quick. 
Our weather is supposed to get really dicey this week. I think I talked about it last week with you guys. Uh, they're calling for a pretty nasty ice storm. Ice, ice always scares me just because uh, it can take out power and we have a generator, uh, but we have to be very strategic on how we use it. So I was like, let's just get some of these jobs out of the way uh, because tomorrow I'm actually sort of busy too because Jess has a follow-up appointment with her surgeon. So uh, we're going to weigh these lambs. What I think we're going to do is just split the boys and the girls. Put the girls over here, leave the boys over there. But in the meantime, I have to fill these feeders that, uh, that got moved out yesterday put back in. And uh, I have them all taped up from when I had the ewe lambs in here. And they weren't getting free choice grain. So we're going to work away at this. Fill everything, do chores, wait for Carissa. Uh, she's feeding across the road. And then we will start doing some weaning weights on these lambs. I'm, a, I'm very curious to see how they did. They look amazing. Oh, I don't have my knife. Take you. Excuse me. Okay, come on. Come on. Uh, Big step. Big step. Oh. Are you good? Are you good? Are you good? Four and a half. Good baby. She gained 0. 0.6 a day. Pretty good for a little sex tuplet. Come on, baby. Come on. Peter, go. There we go. Well, that took us all morning. <laughs> so I went and had a quick lunch because I have a bunch of cleanup to do. Uh, the lambs kind of went all over the place, but everyone is split up. So girls on that side, boys on that side. They are so content and so quiet. All right, I'm going to clean up and then I'm going to run across the road. Uh, Mark is actually going to start working on a cost of production for me. So I'm going to get some numbers together for him, but I'm also going to go through the stats on, the, on this group that just got weaned and then uh, and let you know how we did.
Okay, waiting weights are complete. And I will just go quickly over the stats. Now all this info, I'm actually going to take some time this afternoon, transfer all this over to Excel and send this file to Michael to put into the Flockwatch system. I'm pretty sure I haven't given him any of this information yet, but I'm losing track of what I've given him and what I haven't given him. So uh, I just wanna have my flock watch sort of organized before this next lambing group comes along, which is already less than three weeks away. I am not gonna lie, I am really tired. I have not, I haven't felt like this winter I've had a break. And I said to Mark this morning, what is going, why is it some winters I'm like, I cannot wait for lambing because I don't feel like I'm doing enough. And he said, likely because Chris has got a job now. You're you're out there all day doing what you and her could pretty much accomplish in a few hours together. And I said, yeah, maybe. Or I'm just I'm just feeling my age. Uh, that and I think I think worrying about health, like worrying about Jess and worrying about Mark and all this. I think it takes a toll mentally. If you're like me, which I know some people are, you just keep you keep powering through it and you just keep working because it, it keeps the chatter in my brain a little at a at a really low level like almost mute which is great but i can feel myself getting sort of overwhelmed like it's starting to build so i actually sat down just now and wrote down all the things i need to do in the next two weeks so next week i have to clean this barn and then the week before lambing i really want to sit down and go over get my ipad up and working with a flock watch on it go to town, get all my lambing kit stuff, uh, just get the lambing, pre-lambing stuff organized. And I think I feel better after I write the stuff down because sometimes I just keep putting the list in my brain and then it, it, it weighs you down a bit. So anyway, back to what we were doing here. Oh my god, I'm so such a side tracker. The maximum weight in this group was 97 and a half pounds. We had a lamb at 97 and a half. Minimum was 23 and a half. Uh, it was a really small one and that wasn't our little sextuplet. I think our little sextuplet ended up being like 34 and a half or 36 and a half pounds or something like that. So she wasn't the smallest one of the group. By far she she wasn't at all. We had 53% rams and 47% ewes. Yeah, pretty like a pretty good split on each side. What's the average weight? Uh, the average weaning weight of this group, this size, it's a pretty, pretty big group. Uh, was 66 pounds. So that's unbelievable. So I'm happy. I'm happy with the average. I'm just really relieved that that job is done. I think I'm going to sit down for a couple minutes and go over um, some numbers to give to Mark. He's got everything kind of up to date and he's going stir crazy because he can't do anything. He can't work on machinery. He can't do stuff. So he's like, give me your numbers. Give me what you want done. I'm like, Oh my God, this is awesome. So I want him to start working on updating our cost of production. Our costs for stuff have, has gone up dramatically. Uh, price of lambs have not gone up uh, in, in relation to added uh, costs. So I have been wanting to do this for the last probably a strong year. I've wanted to go back and do this. So he is gonna do that for me this afternoon. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get a feed, my feed rations kind of together for him and how long each U is on each ration. And then I think with just the paperwork we have in the office, he can probably figure out the rest, but he, that is what he has asked for. Got all excited and then I remembered, Sandy, you have to do a little bit of a disclaimer. These lambs are older than they usually are when I wean. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you better get back on there. Everyone's gonna be like, how old were those lambs? They were old, they were quite old. So the very first lambs were born November 27th. Yeah, 57 were born before December 1st. This group was due, uh, I believe, November 29th. So a few came a couple days early, but for the most part, um, they were kind of right on, right on cue. Okay, so Mark is done. I have also sent all my information to Michael from Flockwatch and I said, is there any other stuff I need to be sending you just to get us kind of more up to date with inventory? So I'm gonna wait back to hear from him because he's probably in bed right now. Um, there is one more thing I should probably do before this weather gets too gross and that's uh, putting some bales across the road for those little lambs. I might do that right now. <laughs> 